let me just start off by that hi welcome to brains and the beat here on youtube please like comment share subscribe for your latest news and reviews for everything encompasses my caribbean jamaican island and for all the women them you hear makeup and all these things whatever you need you can have it right here one stop shop okay but in this video i wanted to give you guys a quick update on this story that I've covered for a very long time here on my YouTube channel and this was the story about the woman that mysteriously died in police custody in Jamaica and they claimed that she hung herself well story come to bump no and there has been an update on the story and it says the news understands that the family member of Doris Morris, who died controversially in police custody earlier this year, have now received the private pathologist reports into the death and some question have arisen about the police account of the incident. Morris 54 was reportedly found dead inside the holding area of a halfway three tree police station in St. Andrew on March 2nd. It was theorized and reported that she hung herself with pieces of her clothing. Wow. Mars was taken into custody at her home in the corporate area on a bench warrant on the morning of March 1st and had reportedly been taken to a night court before she died. As a matter of policy, the family members have declined to release the results of the private pathologist findings until a report from the government pathologist is made public. But there have been indication from sources that the findings of the private post-mortem report are not consistent with what the police reported on the matter. So the police report say she hang herself and the private pathologist that did her post-mortem testing are saying that it's false. She never killed herself, basically. Story come to bump is true. Destroyed family members say that what is now holding them back from speaking in detail about what was found by the private pathologist is the release of the government autopsy report. So they did their own private pathologist, their own autopsy privately and they're waiting on the government one to be released to them. So she died on March 2nd and up till now the government can release her autopsy report to the family members. Wow. So three months after and they still haven't released three to four months give or take a few days they still haven't released her autopsy report the post-mortem was done on april 6 as a matter of procedure a private pathologist was present and since that time the private pathologist has completed a report but there's still no word from the government pathologist a relative said the latest development has caused renewed level of concern for the family of the deceased. First, the authorities wanted to carry out the autopsy without the private pathologist being present. Then when we objected, they rescheduled and did not want to tell us the new date for the autopsy. Wow very grimy and dirty after weeks of waiting the date was finally set the autopsy was completed since that time and the private pathologist has completed his report but we are still to hear from the government pathologist this again left a lot of questions swirling the heads of family members Meanwhile, checks with the legal representatives from the Jamaicans for Justice and the officials from the Independent Commission of Investigation, Indicom, 
have indicated that the attention of both organizations is still glued to the incident and they are also waiting on the report from the government pathologist. So basically, these people conducted their own private autopsy and they are waiting for the government autopsy that would confirm or deny the police accounts of what happened that day. So they said that she killed herself with pieces of her own clothing. And if that's true, then the government um, autopsy would confirm or deny that. But they have yet to release the autopsy report to the family members. The family members took it up on themselves to do a private autopsy and spend them own money for that. And they have that waiting to compare and contrast both autopsy to see if these police officers are actually lying about the way that this woman died. And when I first this video, I was saying that a lot of things can happen in police custody, especially with a woman. They can try rape her, they can try beat her up, they can try do a host of other things and it went sour and they killed her. And that's what they used to cover their tracks or justify her death basically. So I'll be keeping a close eye on this whole situation right here and give you guys further updates. And when the government finally decides to release their autopsy, I'll also update you guys on this story. But comment in the comment section and tell me if you think this whole thing is very sketchy. Because to me personally, it's very sketchy and for the family members to do their own private autopsy and they don't want to make it public yet i feel like they know something that they don't want to say yet or they know that this woman didn't actually kill herself but they're waiting on that government autopsy to actually sue them or actually catch them in a lie so comment in the comment section and tell me what you guys think about this story don't forget to like comment share and subscribe to your girl here on youtube my partner here man deuces